Good morning everyone. Today I'm doing a what I eat in the day video for you because a few of you asked to show more Russian cuisine. So today you're gonna see a few, at least three. And since I'm in Sochi right now, it's another area in Russia, it's uh, in Caucasus. So I'm gonna include a few of uh, local cuisine dishes that are widely popular in Caucasus in this area. So please continue watching if you want to see a lot of foods today. And now let's make breakfast. cottage cheese you could keep it plain like this but for me plain is boring so I always add some fruits to it and today I have a banana and a nectarine and this is the cheese it's homemade cheese that's made here by local farmers And that's my daily breakfast. I always eat a toast with cheese. Today I'm gonna eat two because they are so small. And this amazing cottage cheese with fruits. And coffee with a little cream. And that's it. For the lunch today, we're gonna cook eggplants with buckwheat. And buckwheat is essential for Russian kitchen, you already know that. And we eat buckwheat a lot, maybe four times a week, if not more than that. And these are the ingredients that go with the eggplants, including the greens, lots of greens, all sorts. There is dill, parsley, cilantro. And that's everything for this dish, plus the spices, salt and pepper. And I'm gonna show you how we're preparing it. Well, my mom will be preparing it and I will be just here <laughs> assisting. <laughs> there is lots of tomatoes for this dish and at first we need to remove the skin from the tomatoes. It's very easy to do. All you need is just put uh, tomatoes in boiled water and a few seconds later the skin will be easily peeled. My mom wants to make them look like zebra. She removed some of the skin and she left some just for an extra special taste. The key to this dish is to cut every ingredient in large pieces so you can taste it better when you eat it. So as soon as the tomatoes will give juice to the dish, we are gonna add eggplant. This is the spices that we're gonna add. There is a little bit of Italian herbs. This is adjika. This is a local spice that we buy here. And this is another adjika, but this one you can find anywhere. But this one is made here in this region. And 
And meanwhile, we cooked the buckwheat in a multi cooker. That's just too easy and no special instructions needed. And everything is ready, so let's start eating. And that's how the final result looks like. Bon appétit! So I got myself a churchella. Churchella is a local Caucasus dessert and it's basically walnuts covered in... I'm not sure the, about the name of the substance, how it's called, but basically this is a juice. This one particularly is a grape juice uh, mixed together with a cornstarch or a flour. I'm not sure which one exactly and I don't want to know honestly. But this is really good. It comes with a lot of different flavors and different nuts and uh, Sometimes it comes with fruits as well, but my favorite is the classic, just a walnut covered with a grape substance. <laughs> but this is super good and I haven't seen it sold anywhere else in Russia. So while I'm here, I really have to take advantage of the time that I can enjoy Churchella. but it's gonna start again I think because the cloud is really dark so we're just gonna stay at this little cafe right there that's the place where we normally buy beer and uh, let me show you what we're gonna eat so we're gonna have hachapuri pa ajarski this is my all-time favorite thing and my aunt just brought sushi for us from the city center so that's what we're gonna eat and we also have beer And this is not lunch or dinner, this is just a quick snack because uh, we're all together at the beach and we're just gonna have a cup of beer and enjoy our time together.
back home and it's dinner time but normally I skip dinner because on vacation I don't really want to eat a lot plus I just ate on the beach a couple hours ago and I'm still not hungry and I rarely eat uh, dinner here and if I do it's something like uh, watermelon like what I'm gonna eat right now or cottage cheese or like a tiny slice of toast with butter if I work out though and I work out in the evening I eat something after my workout something rich in proteins like a chicken leg or or cottage cheese but today I'm not gonna work out I'm just gonna eat uh, watermelon and some figs and figs are in season right now so that's good news and that will be it for the rest of the day and as always thank you guys so much for watching and i will see you in my next video bye